I have in front of me a flight instrument panel. Uh, these were originally made by SciTech before it was acquired by Logitech. Although you will still see a lot of the SciTech branding within here. Now this will primarily be used in applications such as Microsoft Flight Simulator and it just gives you an instrument panel similar to what you see on screen here, only you have one that's dedicated. I wanted to see whether or not it was possible to use it for some other purpose that had nothing to do, do with a flight simulator, like can I put my own custom content on here? And yes, indeed, I can. Uh, there's two ways to go about doing it. One of the reasons I wanted to be able to do that is when you're not doing anything else with the unit, it will sit there and scroll through some advertisements, and I don't particularly like my devices to show ads, so I want to find some way to override that. One way to get it done is through using the SDK that comes installed with the software. Now they refer to this as direct output and no. For those of you that are familiar with DirectX, this is not some part of the DirectX library that you just had not heard of. This is SciTech's own thing. Uh, but when you go into the program files folder, there is an SDK subfolder within it and it has some documentation along with some C++ examples. Now I am digging more into that, but that's not what I'm going to look at here. What I want to point out is there's also some JPEGs that are here within the programs folder. As it turns out, these are the images that the device is scrolling through. Like if I open one of these, you can see that's one of the ads that showed on screen. You can replace any of these JPEGs with whatever image that you want. Now natively, the screen is showing something like 320 pixels wide by 240 pixels tall. If you make a, an image that's outside of that, it's just going to resize it so that it fits within the screen. And in doing some experimentation, the only thing I found that you need to do is make sure that those that is JPEGs that you're putting in this folder and it will automatically pick up on them and show them on the screen. To change the content, I've written a program and this is written in C Sharp. It's in a WPF application, although uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be in WPF because this application has no interface at all. But all it's doing is it looks at today's date and a time of day and I have it making like a couple of bar uh, our progress bars to show you how far you are into the day and into the year. Those images get written into the folder and they show up on the device and here you can see I'm 58% into my day and 48% into the year. The color palette and how often it's set, it refreshes is something that can be changed with the configuration files. And if there's something that you didn't want displaying, if you set the refresh interval to zero, then it just won't write that image. Now you can also just edit those images too and put whatever you want to within them, which is how I got my custom logo put on the screen. If this is something in which you think you might have interest, I'll make sure to put the code on GitHub so that you can grab it from there. Although I wouldn't suggest necessarily buying these just to have a peripheral displays because there are cheaper options that are available out there. But I'll put a link to this device too.